one local teacher is giving his students a chance to learn in a unique way. At Cashton Elementary, flexible seating is replacing a classroom's typical look. News 8's Sarah Tamer introduces us to this month's top-notch teacher. I'm by no means a traditional teacher, I guess. <laughs> I like if you Ryan walked into Ryan Brown's fifth grade classroom, you might notice something different. They decide where they sit best. A classroom with no desks. It took up about 25% of the room, all my stuff. Not even for Mr. Brown. 16 years of teaching, first year without a desk. He calls it flexible seating, and so far it's been working. The kids have taken not only ownership in the room, but taken ownership in their learning. Between high tables, comfy chairs, and still a few desks, Brown says his students are ultimately choosing how they learn best. They'll run the smart board, they'll run the math lesson, and I'll kind of move from spot to spot just making sure kids are, uh, are on pace or on target of what they're doing, but the kids kind of run it and I'm kind of more of a guide. He says that might sound a little worrisome. Yes. But he says there are benefits to only having really three main rules in the classroom. Make sure you are safe, one of them being make sure you are sitting at a place where you can learn the best. And behavior issues, it's simple for me because I can just say, are you making your best choice? When it comes to taking notes and tests, the students use clipboards, sometimes even baby mattresses. Mr. Brown's fifth graders are certainly not opposed to being in a unique classroom. He, you get to pick so you can learn better. That's what it's for. And along with flexible seating, students enjoy Mr. Brown's flexible personality. Not a f teacher at school, he's like a friend to us. He makes um, learning fun, it's funny with him. He's pretty funny, he makes learning fun. He's the highlight of everyone's day, he makes you smile. Um, he, he just makes it comfortable. It's not traditional, it's not the desks and the rows and the raising the hands and things like that, but it works for me. Reporting in Cashton, Sarah Tamer, News 8. Mr. Brown says because there are no assigned seats when it comes to cleaning up at the end of the day, each student chooses a home spot that they are responsible to clean before the school day is over. Pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember anything like that when we were growing Just up. Just desks right? and chairs yeah, when I was growing exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah.